adding and subtracting with fractions. Very scary, isn't it? Very scary. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's not. It's nothing to be scared of. It's nothing uh, to, to tell to yourself, oh, I can't do this, because everybody, yeah, including my mom, and no disrespect mom, yeah, but everybody can add and subtract fractions. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I have six videos. I'll try to keep them short. Yeah, but if you've seen all six videos, this is part one, you can add and subtract with fractions. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. Let's say one over two plus one over four. Okay, a half plus a quarter. Now, some of you will say, and that's what we're gonna find out now. Oh, that is what one plus one is, two and two plus four is six, so two over six. All right, well, is that correct? No, it's wrong. It is absolutely wrong. And I'm gonna show you why. You know I love pizzas, yeah? I've shown you in many videos I love pizzas. Let's have a pizza there, okay? Well, this is my full pizza. I've ordered some pizza. At first, I have half of the pizza, okay? Half of the pizza, there we go. And I've eaten it, and then I eat another quarter of a pizza. Now, a quarter of a pizza is roughly like this, yeah? So my second, that's the second time I eat a quarter of a pizza. So how much did I eat in total? And how much is a half plus a quarter? Now, as you can perhaps see, looking at this circle, that is three quarters, yeah? Because the half, I can divide that into quarters as well. So I have a quarter, you can't read that, can you? Okay, let's do that in blue. A quarter, yeah, one over four, and that is one over four, and that's my half pizza, and another quarter, so I have three quarters. Now, that is the correct answer, but how do I go from one over two and add one over four to three over four? And this is what you have to do every time, is that you have to manipulate the fractions when you're adding or subtracting, yeah, uh, you have to find equivalent fractions that the denominators are the same. Well, are they the same now? Two and four? No, they are not. So I have to manipulate them, yeah? Now, one over two, yeah, and I have to make those denominators the same. Well, hopefully you realize that the two, I can turn that quite easily into a four, can't I? Because well, what do I times two to get four? times by two, fantastic, yeah, then I have to times the one by two as well, eh? So, two over four, one over two is equivalent to two over four, as you can see, two over four, yeah? And I explained that also in more detail, eh? how to find equivalent fractions in previous videos. Two over four plus one over four, yeah, now I can compare those slices of pizza, now I know exactly that I had how many Quarters, so the four stays of four, I had two plus one, I had three quarters of a pizza. So, I'm gonna finish now, uh, and then we go to the next video. When you're adding or subtracting fractions, the denominator has to be the same. If they're not, you manipulate them, sometimes one, sometimes both, you find equivalent fractions that they become the same. Then, you add the numerators, I have three, quarters, the denominator stays the same. See you at the next video. More pizza there.